I made a fun Halloween project that highlights these specific items. It's sort of inspired by the spooky Ouija board that's on the, that Stranger Things shelf. Let me show you how it works. This is the actual projector. The light here is from a TI light kit. They, they sell them in order to show off how they're high temperature LEDs. The lenses on the little telescopy thing, those are actually from uh, binocul cheap binoculars for viewing the solar eclipse. I removed the solar filter, of course. This is a little pan and tilt servo thing. I picked it up, oh, about a year or so ago. It's got two little servos in it that are connected over to this Argidroid. Uh, sorry, Ard uh, 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 Arduino. This is an Arduino Nano on a carrier board. The carrier board is apparently from some Kickstarter thing. I got the whole thing. This, so, the, so, the, so the Nano here is attached to a Bluetooth HC06. So it's a Bluetooth COM port. The TI Lite, by the way, uh, is actually got a Bluetooth built in as well. It uses Bluetooth BLE. So the servo little little servo motors are attached onto the carrier board. The Arduino can drive them based on a sketch that's built into it. And I'm using the Arduino uh, ArduDroid sketch that's available uh, publicly. I modified it so it could control servo motors. And that's with a modification to the original programming. Where did this board come from? <laughs> it's from a little company called Slint Robotics. They, they make a, uh, a Kickstarter little bot. And so I took the guts out of that because that can control servos to control my servos. So here's the little controller board. But the question is, who controls the controller? And the answer is, I've got a written a program in BASIC, and it runs on a program called Best Calculator IoT Edition. That is a calculator, but it also in the calculator you can program BASIC in. And from within this BASIC, you can type in where you want it to go to. And it will then drive the controller. It'll drive the little telescopy thing with the light on it. So let's move over to the ghost. Ghost is G. Drink. And there it is on the G. And it goes into a loop and you can put in whatever message you like. And it'll display it up on the screen. Now let's take a look inside and see how the basic app actually runs. Let me step you through how the actual program works to display things with the pan and tilt display. Now, the very first thing you probably noticed on the screen earlier when I was, the program was running was that we could get input. Now, this program, by the way, is written in a variant of BASIC. It's Best Calculator BASIC, BC BASIC, and it's built into Best Calculator. Uh, by the way, Best Calculator IoT Edition is the version you need because you're going to be driving uh, Bluetooth, and only the IoT Edition does Bluetooth. You'll also need version 3.11 to run all the... All the programs inside of this uh, particular package. So we see a message on the screen, and you saw that earlier, a message on the screen, the default is the word hello, and the prompt is to enter a message. That's the message we're gonna try to display. What do we mean by message? Well, I'm gonna look at every single letter in the message, and each letter corresponds to one thing that the pan and tilt can, knows how to point to. I set it up this way so you could actually make an Ouija board type thing with a spooky message and, and have all the letters of the alphabet there. We take the message, convert it to uppercase because you don't really need upper and lowercase for spooky messages. This is the basic way of looping through and looking at every character inside a message. In order to pull a character out of a string, we use the mid function. That's just how it works. You give the message, I is the index that you're looking for, and then one is because you only want one thing long. This function get pan and this other one get tilt. I've got a couple of functions in a different program and I'll show you those. In a, in a different part of this package, they given a table owed stuff and a character and a default value. That'll return the correct pan amount and tilt amount. Now the pan and tilt amount, the pan, it's a, the servo is a zero to 180. So that value has to be between zero and 180. The tilt is a zero to 90 servo. So that it has to be between zero and 90. It's, it's all in degrees. If either the pan or the tilt is minus one, then, then we're not going to do anything because there's no, we don't know where to point to. Otherwise, and here's where we start actually controlling stuff. Step one is we go to the light and we tell it, hey, light, turn into red, green, blue, and white. The particular TI Bluetooth light, the BE light, that actually has a four LEDs on it, red, green, blue, and white. And the white is a particularly uh, strong white light. 
the light is a specialization of that particular Bluetooth light, and it knows how to do things like set color. Similarly, PT is the pan and tilt device, and it knows how to do things like servo move. Where did I get that? And the answer is this particular PT, it's, it's using the Arduidroid system. That knows how to do servo motions, at least the version I upgraded uh, certainly does. And, I, and the pan servo to control is number zero, and the tilt servo is number one. We then pause for a moment while everything's moving, and then we set the light to uh, red, green, blue, white, only this time it's going to be red because that's a spooky color. Then we pause a little bit. 50 is about right. It pauses for like a second or so. And just for debugging, I'll actually print out the character and the pan and the tilt value. And then that's it for this whole if statement saying that if we got a good pan value, we should actually try to pan and turn the lights on and off. We then do this next I that ends the for loop. That's just how basic works. And then go to 10. If you know basic, you know you do use go to's. Uh, go to 10 takes you to the top, which is our loop top. And then we pull in another message. Okay, let's take a little deeper look at this. Where did that table come from? There's a function called read table here, and that reads in the table. Like I said, that's all in another package. Let's do go, take a look at what the Bluetooth requirements are. Let's take a look at the light, first of all. In order to make that light, I got a list of all the devices attached, uh, paired, whose name is BE Light Star. That is BE Light followed by anything. And it turns out I, I've only got one paired, so it'll be the first one. So we take this list of items, which will be one long, get the first one. That's our raw light device. That's in a raw Bluetooth format. We're going to say, hey, the raw, light raw, as, and this converts it to our specialization, as BE Light, because that's the name of our specialization, BE Light. And once we have that, this light variable now is something that can communicate with a TI Bluetooth light kit device and knows how to do things like set the color, in this case, to red. Now that's how Bluetooth LE devices work. Let's take a look at what we do for console device, uh, uh, RF comm devices. Those are devices that use the serial port protocol, the SPP protocol. In this case, our Bluetooth device is an HC06. That's what came with the kit, and so that's what I use. This does serial port stuff. We're going to send data in in, in serial formats, such as lines and characters and stuff. It's not, it's not, it doesn't have a schema the way that Bluetooth LE does. So we get our raw device. We get a list of them in particular. If the count is zero, we're going to say, hey, by the way, I don't didn't actually find one. We're going to grab our first one, and that's our PT raw. Now, what you can do with this is only things that make sense for a serial device. You can like send a string, and you can get a string, but that's not what I want to do. I want to do Arduidroid stuff. So I'm going to take that raw device and say as, which is the way we make a specialization. Say, hey, I want to do the Arduidroid specialization. That gets our PT device. Once we have that on the PT device, we can actually do things like the servo attach. In this case, the servo attach means Hey, I'm going to call it servo zero. That's attached to pin two. Servo one, that's attached to pin three. That's just how I did my wiring. And then I'm going to print the name out. So where do, by the way, some of these uh, functions like read table, where do they come from? The answer is that best calculator basic. When you write a program, it's actually part of a bigger package because often you want to bundle a bunch of stuff together. This is the display program. But some of the other programs you might want to do would be, for example, to manually move stuff around. That's, that's a demo. And you need to train. You need to be able to create that table. Well, I have a, a program in this package called table function, and I import functions from table functions. That gets me all those functions. Now, these are pro just functions that I wrote. You can see here is a, a couple of the programs available in this package where the package is scary alphabet Ouija board. And there's a demo, and there's a thing for training, and here's the table functions. These are the table functions where you can make an empty table, and you can get pan and get tilt and read the table and save the data. So, for example, to make an empty table, I dimension it, and I add a row with a name in the pen and tilt, and then return it. That's that's what my table looks like. It's it's a it's a uh, array of arrays, and the very first array in it is always like the name of what all the stuff is. 
and I can find the row of it and I can get the pan value and the tilt value and all those other things. All of these are available up on my website. There'll be a link uh, somewhere that will tell you where uh, that will point you directly to this whole package of programs and that'll also kind of tell you how to run it. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching this little video about how I made my uh, scary messaging system with the pan and tilt control, uh, with the controlling servos using Android, using Arduino, and the Arduino system. Thank you.